Marin should be celebrating at her prom this evening with her friends and classmates. Instead, we are mourning her death. Tonight, new information on that awful school tragedy in Milford. 16-year-old Marin Sanchez stabbed to death inside Jonathan Law High School by another student. Police tell us classmates say it all had to do with the prom, which was set for tonight. Hi, everybody. We're glad you're here tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. This was to be a day that high school kids just dream about, the prom. For a teenager, it is one of the biggest events of their young lives. But the life of 16-year-old Marin Sanchez came to a tragic end today, making for heartbreak for all of those who knew her. Again, there's no confirmation yet, but fellow students say the tragedy happened at the hands of the boy who Marin refused to go to prom with. Uh, we have team coverage tonight. A.J. Walker has the latest on the police investigation, and Bob Wilson has more on what made Marin such a beloved student and friend. But first, Marin's cousin recently spoke to reporters about their intense and shocking loss. A bright light full of hopes and dreams with her future at her fingertips. The question on everyone's mind tonight is why did it happen and how could this happen? Another painful round of school violence here in Connecticut. New date, it's AJ Walker's been covering this story all day. She joins us live now with the latest. AJ, what have you been able to uncover? Darren, I spoke with several students today. Most of them told me that this started over the prom. They say a classmate asked Marin Sanchez to go to the prom with her, and when she said no, he killed her. Now, we asked the same question to police. They would not confirm if that's true, but they said they'd been hearing the same thing, and they're relying on students as well to get to the bottom of how this all happened. But police do tell us they have that 16-year-old boy in custody while they're investigating. We know that we had a victim. We knew that we had somebody that was in serious, uh, in serious condition. In fact, uh, this young lady died. And we know we had a crime scene. And we know we had a number of students that we needed to make sure that there was no longer a threat at the school. We determined that very quickly. Jonathan Law High School went into lockdown after police say a teacher stumbled upon a student killing another student. A staff member came upon the assault that had already started and uh, whether or not they interrupted it, whether or not it was concluded, those are things that we really just don't know yet. The victim, 16-year-old Marin Sanchez. She was stabbed in a stairwell next to a hallway by a 16-year-old male student. Police wouldn't give details about how it happened, but they say she had severe injuries to her neck. Medical staff and EMS workers tried to save her, but couldn't. The student was transported to Bridgeport Hospital, where she was pronounced dead at 7.43 this morning. Students say their classmates were in a state of confusion when the school went into lockdown, but some had an idea of what was going on right away. I seen some girl getting carried off in a stretcher. I was in that hallway this morning, and I just saw her under the stairs with uh, like a trail of blood. I didn't know what happened. I was just getting there just when the first teachers were starting to get there. As police comb the school for answers about how something like this could happen, the community is dealing with losing an angel. The Jonathan Law community mourns greatly the loss of Marin and our thoughts and prayers go out to her family. Police aren't releasing the name of that boy just yet, but they do say that right now he's being charged as a juvenile, but he could get upgraded and be charged as an adult. They also say there were surveillance cameras in the school, but they don't know just yet what those surveillance cameras captured. Of course, we'll stay on top of all of this and have more information. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more from students and see what they think about this. Live in Milford, A.J. Walker, News 8. A.J., thank you. Marin was an involved student in so many different activities, and like most teenagers, she was very active on Facebook. These are pictures from her Facebook page. She was obviously a popular gal with a lot of friends, a lot of fun pictures on there. There's even a photo that she posted showing off her prom dress. Marin also has video of herself singing on YouTube from 2012. She clearly had a lot of musical talent. Take a listen. Well, tonight there is a push on social media to make Marin the prom queen. It's all over Twitter tonight. It's hashtag Marin for prom queen and hashtag RIP Marin. News 8's Bob Wilson joins us live now from the school where he's been talking to people who knew her best. And Bob, you were there when students were doing a special tribute to Mara not long ago. 
They did, and a matter of fact, we just heard from her friends that she was voted prom queen. And uh, this rock behind me here now is purple, and it says Marin, and has her birthday, 826.97. It used to be a black rock with the words Girls Softball 2014, which Marin was the captain of that team. And they came out and painted it purple in honor of her because that was her favorite color. And then they put her name on it. And it was a touching, emotional time for, for students to come together. They came out of grief counseling. And there must have been 50, 100 of them all came out at once, started spray painting the rock. And they comforted one another. They did talk with a lot of grief counselors. But just to give you an idea of who Marin was, she was in the National Honor Society. Very smart, according to the superintendent. She was also athletic. She was captain of the softball team. She was manager of the girls' swim team. And she was also on the tennis team. And she was also a singer. And she could play the guitar, talented. And everyone said she had a great smile. Now, we did talk to one student who was just in shock. And I want to tell you up front, we did talk to her. Her mother was standing next to her and she just cannot believe what happened today when she was in school. Nobody really suspects this and I didn't know that she was gonna die. Everyone said that it was just her being strangled and she passed out. No one knew that someone slit her throat. And the reason why is just pathetic because she said no to prom. And, and today's prom, and why would he do this to her? Today was her big day. She had everything planned out, and her and her boyfriend had everything planned out today. How could someone be so heartless to do this to someone on their big day? It's, I can't believe this. It's still not in my head that she was murdered. I still don't believe it. I still don't believe that there was a murder at my own school. Like, all this right now, this isn't real to me. It still hasn't hit me yet. But I know when I go back to school on Monday, it's all going to hit me. And it's going to be so emotional. It's just so not real right now. And every time the students pass by this purple rock, it will remember them of Maureen. But they say they don't need really a lot of memories of Marin. A uh, rock to remind them because she was so popular. She lit up a room. She was so happy. She was just that kid that would make, as a matter of fact, one girl told me, one student, she said, I just moved to the school in October. First person to greet me was Marin to say, welcome to this school and that you're a lot of fun, and they, she included her right into the activities. That's the kind of person that Marin Sanchez was. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Milford, News 8. Bob, thank you. So touching to hear students talk tonight. This tragedy is just a horrible reminder about school violence and once again raising concerns about student safety. Lawmakers in Connecticut held a moment of silence this afternoon in the House in Marin's memory. Marin's cousin said this afternoon we can never Forget the lessons on school violence. The prom was supposed to be tonight. It has been postponed, as we've been telling you. The superintendent was adamant, though, the prom will be held at some point. Well, tonight, grief counselors are going to be on hand there at Jonathan Law School tonight until 8 o'clock tonight. They're also going to be there all throughout the weekend for anyone who needs to talk. We're being told the boy in custody may be arraigned on Monday. At this point, he's not being identified because of his age.